Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another interesting tutorial on Croco Block Jet Engine. Today our topic is about REST API. So usually when we fetch data from REST API, we can display it in a table or we can display just like uh, in the listing. But what if I want specific data or specific post from the REST API using Jet Form Builder? Let me show you an example. So I am using Rapid API and the database is breed for dogs and if i want to change id of dog here for example 23 it will show me the data for 23 id for this breed and once i click on submit it will add it to my website and let me refresh my website i can see here now two dogs mixed breed dog and companion dogs so let's start I have some notes here. In this tutorial, we will cover Rapid API, how you can use Rapid API as a source of information, uh, how to use JetForm Builder update field, it's a new add-on, how to filter data in REST API, how to use Query Builder and how to use hooks. Step number one is you have to download this add-on. It's a small add-on JetForm Builder update field. You will download it, the code, you will download the code from here and upload. This way, you will see another option here, Field Updater in JetForm Builder. Step number two, go to Rapid API. It's a website where you can find dozens of API and you can subscribe to one of them. I subscribe to Dog Breed Database and it will give you the endpoint URL and username and password and API keys, everything. You have to copy it from here. Go to Jet Engine and here create a new REST API endpoint. In our case, it's Dog Breed. The API URL is this one. The item path is slash. Down we have authorization. The authorization we have various type. Last time we have used application password if you want to fetch data from another WordPress website. Today we will use Red, Rapid API. In Rapid API we have API key and API host. This you will get from here. Okay. Once all done, click on send request and we are connected. Now, step number two is to fetch this information using a query. So we have a breed query which fetch data from REST API and down here we can filter the data. Now remember, we had a lot of issues with filtration and it's not actually, I'm not sure, but it's not problem with the, with the query builder or jet engine. It, it is based on the compatibility of the API we are using. So if I display the data here, I can see 415 breeds. Okay. And each breed has their own unique ID. Okay. So in past, if we want to filter ID equal to five, it was fetching everything. But if you want to use this option, let me, let me remove it. And here I will type for example, four here. It is showing me one result, not 415 or not 400 it is showing me only one result because this breed api is compatible to receive filtration from the endpoint okay in certain cases these queries will not filter your data okay now step number three we will come back to this option again step number three is we need to create a form okay in form we need breed id okay the id of the breed okay then we need breed type origin and image file so breed id has a form field name called breed id okay this breed id we will use here in the query you need to specify the key which is our case is id click here and in the dynamic data option you will find another option called jet form builder update field click here and choose the name of the unique element here so in our case it's breed id click on apply which means that whenever i type a breed id here the respective details should come from this specific breed id in our case it's 13 all right so this is done now for the breed type you will scroll down this data will be entered from our side but this will be filled automatically from the api 
click on field updater and enable value updater mean update the value of this field from the breed id and here we will mention field to listen from where i need to listen or get the data it's breed id this one and how to filter the data so here you can use the query builder id which in our case is nine let's go to our query the id of our query is nine and here we are fetching these columns okay so for breed type what is our column name breed type okay so what you will do in the form go to query which is number nine and fetch all records which match the id in our case 13 and fetch only breed type okay here it will show only the breed type click on origin same exercise go to field updater enable field updater it will check for the breed id go to nine number query and get origin what is origin this one alaska you can get all details which you need but i used only few of them then we have image file and we have img thumb for that if you go to form click on this field scroll down and you will find img thumb okay so go to query 9 and get img thumb and last field i have category uh, i added this in breed category that's why i made it hidden go to jet form and insert update action so we need to have a new post which is published the breed type is the title and the image file is post thumbnail and the category is category now this is done once i click on update it will fetch everything and it will insert a new post for me but this is a link this is not an uploaded file so for this we use in order to convert a url to a thumbnail or feature image we need to use hook so this is hook data we are getting the image url and we are converting it to attachment okay based on post id and attachment id go to your form and here you will find hook we will call a hook save image same hook here save image we are calling this hook and we are passing the value of the image which is converting it to a thumbnail image all right last you have to click here and insert your form it is showing latest post and let's try to check it again here let's search for number seven which is terror dog i will enter number seven it get the data it get the origin it get the image file once i click on submit the form has been successfully submitted go to posts and here you can find terror dog and this is the category i was talking about and this is the picture if i refresh it you will find it here as well okay we have three dogs now if i submit again i can see companion dog all right so this was a small example and i will tell you how you can utilize this one so for example you have a website for car listing and uh, there is a database which will give you a number of cars and their chases number or something like that and each time you want to add a car you have to fill like 15 or 20 fields if you are using this methodology all you need to enter is the chassis number of the car and it will fill all the details the model the color the year it was made what uh, what sort of uh, uh, car it is vehicle or something like that and just click on submit and it will be submitted to your website i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much